how to use Google Calendar for scheduling. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with scheduling on Google Calendar. So let's get into it. Now, Google Calendar is a great tool to use if you are someone that is always on the go and you need everything that you will have to do right at your fingertips because Google Calendar is something you usually have on your phone, in your laptop, or in your desktop and it's accessible anywhere plus it can save a lot of your things without the internet so you'll have everything saved and everything right on your calendar now how can you create a weekly schedule first off go into google and open up google calendar this will open up your default calendar that you have with your google account so this is the email address i'm using currently and this is the calendar of that email address now, some of you might want to create your Google Calendar from scratch or your scheduling calendar from scratch because you don't want it to be integrated into your pre-existing calendars such as your birthday calendar or such as your basic calendar or your task calendar. So your basic calendar is usually the default calendar that you have that is linked to your Google account. You can do weekly scheduling in that or you can click on tasks and have a task-based calendar. But if you want to get started from scratch, click on settings on the top right and click on the settings action. Then once you do that, you can click on add calendar in the left panel. Click on create new calendar and name your new calendar. This is going to be my weekly management or weekly calendar or weekly schedule. And then the owner, which is going to be me. And then I'm just going to click on create calendar. Now a separate calendar will be created in which I can build my weekly schedule. This could be segregated from my basic calendar that I have and it can be helpful in making sure that I don't mix up my personal tasks with my scheduled tasks or anything like that. Now once I've done that I can see on the left I have the my calendar section. I can choose to display all three of my calendars or only choose to display my weekly calendar. Once I've only selected my weekly calendar, I'm going to click on the top right and convert it from month to week. Now this will only display one week. Now I want to schedule the next week, so I'm going to click on the top right arrow to see the first week of March. Now in this first week, it starts at the 3rd and then ends at the 9th. So for me to be able to add tasks, events, or any kind of appointment, I can get started with a particular date, or I can always click on create on the top left and create a event, task, or build my own appointment schedule. Now, Google allows you to create one appointment schedule per email address for free. After that, you would have to upgrade to a premium account on Google to be able to create a appointment schedule. Now, let's say that I have a task that I have to do throughout the week. Let's say this is going to be have or go to or this is going to be my classes. So this is my classes task and this is going to be a repetitive task weekly. And this is going to be a daily task that I have to do, or this is going to be custom. And this repeats on 5th to, let's say it repeats till the 8th. And let's say it repeats every week on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I can just click on down over here, weekly on weekdays. Now this will be the times that this task will be added on default. And the time for this task might be, let's say it, my classes start every day at 9 a.m. And then I can add a description, which is maybe uni classes like this, and I can click on save. Now, once I do that, I will see the task will be inserted into my particular week. Now, keep in mind that if you have this added as a task, you would have to enable the task section. Now, once this has been added into my tasks, you will see that the task will show up. Now, if you want to remove any other tasks, you would have to segregate the Google Calendar that you are building for your weekly schedule from your standard calendar. Now, what happens if I want to insert a appointment that I have to go for the first week that I am at? So this is the current week. And let's say I have a few appointments during these days. So to add an appointment, the easier way is to just look at the date. Let's say tomorrow at seven, I have to go somewhere. So I can just go into the next date, scroll down, 
and I will see the line of seven, click on this section over here and I can add a tasks or a event. So let's say I have to go to a uh, coffee with a friend and then I can add a time. So seven or let's say I have to go at 630 till let's say 8 p.m. And then after that, this is a non-repetitive task. I can add a person or a guest in the form of an email, as well as a video conferencing, a particular location, description or attachment, as well as my weekly schedule. And I can just click on over here to add my schedule. Now, after that, let's say on the rest of, during the rest of my day, let's say I have maybe... Let's say from 2 p.m. or 1 p.m. till 6 p.m. I'm doing something. So I can just click on over here. And once I do a left click and I hold that left click, I can increase the duration of time for a task. So let's say like this, I can just increase a duration. And let's say till 1 till 5 p.m. I am going to be working on my research project like this and then after that i can just click on save and you can change the color of these tasks as well if they are bothering you a bit you can go into your weekly schedule choose a different color to denote the things that are listed in your weekly schedule now this can be a great way to segregate tasks that you are meant to do every day versus things that you have planned out individually for the week now on the top right, you even have a simple tasks section that can help you in navigating through all the tasks that you have to do. And now in your weekly schedule calendar, you can click on the top right where you can keep certain notes as well. These can be notes for tasks that are not something that you might want to list, but eventually do have to complete by the end of the week. So you can add a weekly event at the end of the week where you have to take a look at the remaining notes in your calendar. Now on the bottom, you have certain calendars that you can insert, such as the particular calendars of a religion or a country. You can add phases of the moon, you can add holidays, you can add really a lot of different things in your other calendars if you want to display them. You can even display calendars from the URL as well. Now, a few other features that might be useful in your weekly calendar include notifications. So if I have a particular event, I can get a notification to be reminded of that event. So you can go on ahead and change the default of a event. So if I have to have coffee with a friend, I can click on this particular option. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on edit. Once I click on edit, on the left, you have a add notification option. And then you can add a notification and I want the notification to be on my device. So I'm not going to make it by email. I want this notification on my device and I want the notification 30 minutes before I have the event to be started. And then I can click on save. Now, if you want to add your task in more detail, you can click on the task and edit. And then on the top right, you have the option to duplicate it, publish it, change the owner, as well as copy to your default calendar. And in this way, you can use Google Calendar to schedule your week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.